Welcome back to the new video. So in this video we are going to install the Panorama. So first what I will do is that I will go to the EVNG because I'm going to install the Panorama in the EVNG. So in the EVNG I will go to the documentation and I will click on how to create image and if I scroll down to Palo Alto, Palo Panorama panel and you can see that this is the image which is currently supported so if you just copy that one and go to the google paste it and say download and you should be able to download from this website right so you download it from this website so once the file is uh, downloaded let's go ahead and uh, create the install the panorama in the evng so what i will do is that i will take an ssh connection to the EVNG so once we have the SSH connection next I will copy this directory over here since the file name is the same as we as I have uh, with me so that's why I'm using the same directory name if the file name is different then I will if the version is different then I will change the version Okay, so click on. Now let's open the FileZilla now. In the FileZilla, I will connect to my EVNG. Go to the opt, unit lab, add-ons, KMU. And we should see Panorama 10.0.04. And now on the left-hand side is my download. So I should have the Panorama image over here i would just double click and it should transfer here so once that has been transfer transferred the file the file should be renamed to virtual.qcom but until then we have to create one hard disk so let's go ahead and create the hard disk now to create the hard disk what we have to do is cd go to the directory and if i say ls you see that currently this file is being transferred so if I come back to my Palo Alto, you see that in the FileZilla, the file has been transferred. So I will right click. I will say virtua.qcow2virtioa. So the now the FileZilla job is done. So I will just close this FileZilla. And now if I say ls, you see that the file has been renamed. That's all good. Next thing is that we need an hard disk. So we will copy that one. And to create a hard disk, you make sure that you are first in the directory. Then you create the hard disk within the directory so that we do have two files over here. And we are creating a 100 GB of hard disk. Finally, we will go ahead and say fix permission. This is very important. Right, so once that has been done, yep, it's done. So now if you scroll up, you see that we do require eight CPUs and 16 GB of RAM. Okay, so what I can do is that can connect to my EVNG now. So I already have an topology which was uh, active active previously. So I will just create a node say panorama you see that Palo Alto panorama and by default it is using 4 gb 4 cpus and 16 gb of ram so we'll keep it default we'll say pano just say pano and i will add this pano into the management and i will start that one if i say stop because I need to change that uh, console type to Tenlet instead of VNC. And I will start it. Next, I will have the Tenlet session. And now you see that it is booting up. So I hope this was informative for you and thank you.